Today we're gonna be doing some Japanese gyoza, otherwise known as pot stickers. There's no need to pull these out of the freezer anymore because I'm gonna show you how to make them from scratch. First things first is the ground pork. Toku means pork in Japanese. Get about one pound of ground pork and throw it in a mixing bowl. Ginger, or in Japanese, shoga. Cut or scrape off the skin. But what I'm going to do is cut it up into smaller pieces and use a food processor to dice it up with the garlic. Garlic is nin niku in Japanese. Chop it up into little bits or throw it into a food processor with the ginger. Add it into the mixing bowl. Onion in Japanese is negi. Cut the roots off. Chop a handful in half and make it faster to dice and slice up. Cabbage is kyabetsu in Japanese. Only use about one third to half a head. Cut the root out and make sure that they aren't any major roots in the remaining leaves. Dice it up into smaller pieces. You could also flash boil it to get a softer texture, but I like the crunch. Moyashi in Japanese are bean sprouts. They are an optional addition you could add into your mixture. You could also add carrots or other vegetables that have little water in them. Chop them up so it's easier to handle. After all the veggies are added into the mixing bowl, add in a quarter cup of soy sauce, one tablespoon of mirin, one tablespoon of sesame seed oil, a little goes a long way. Season with a dash of salt and pepper. Add in one tablespoon of cornstarch. I like to spice it up with a half tablespoon of shichimi togarashi, which is Japanese red pepper mix. Now combine the mixture. Get your hands in there to mix it easier and let it sit for about 15 minutes so it can settle. Let's get to wrapping. Get a water mixture going. I like to add a little egg in there to help seal it. I think the egg holds better than just water. Put about a half teaspoon in the middle of the gyoza wrapper. Wet one half of the edge. And as you seal it, crimp it and fold over one side. And do this about four times to make a plate. Doing these crimps squeezes out any air and makes sure that there is no space in the filling pocket. It also looks nicer as well. This recipe will make about two packs worth of gyoza wrappers. There are just about 50 wrappers in each pack. If you have any leftover filling, you can just roll them up into little meatballs and fry them and have a little snack over rice. Frying them is easy. Place your gyoza into a oiled, medium-high heated pan. Once they fry for a minute, add about a quarter cup of water mixed with a teaspoon of flour mixture and put the lid on so they can steam. Adding flour or starch to the water to steam is called Hanatsuki Gyoza, which means gyoza with wings. It gives us a nice crunchy texture on one side. I've seen this done more and more over the years traveling in Japan and stateside. This is my variation to my mom's recipe that I've grown up with over the years. It's more of a labor of love, similar to making tamales or lupia egg rolls, because folding it is a long, repetitive process. I'd always love when my mom makes gyoza, but mainly I was just there to help eat them as they come fresh off the pan. Itadakimasu! Let's enjoy eating these while they are fresh. I highly recommend you freeze your pre-cooked gyoza for a later date. Have fun!